Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody trying to take two rectangles and use object to path to put them on this circle. Well, object to path is great, but it's not, you can't do it perfectly with a, this is a straight item. It's a flat rectangle with two of them together. So when you text the path it, we're just going to do it. He sent me this circle. He said he made it 100 inches, and he got about as close as you can get to 100 inches. If we go to properties, already turned into a curve. This is 0 .001. And even I think if you were dead on, uh, the curvature is just going to mess up with you, you know, right there. So we're just going to text the path just to do it. Pick your not text it, uh, object to path. Select your two items, open up object, object to path, 50 of them, because they're two inches long. And you're going to get that. And you can really see it now that it's got the line. So my suggestion would do, don't use object to path. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't break these two apart. Good. So it's 0.65 wide. I might for the video make that a little bit differently. But there were, they were, now it's one inch long. So our degree is 3.6 degrees. I am going to make a duplicate of this, control D, and I am going to, I'm going to make it one inch different. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take away the, the uh, inch sign and go plus one inch. Okay. Now I'm going to take this one. I'm going to control D and I'm going to take away the inch sign. And I'm going to go negative one inch. So now I've got three rings. I'm working in the center of the page. Click off the rings before you get to this. Because if you don't, it'll go to that center of that ring. We want the center of the page. Holding down the control button. Now, double click on the rotation and move it to here. Rotate that. I need, to, I need that original, so I'm going to control D. And then rotate it. 3.6 degrees. It didn't make one. So now control D, put it back to zero. And now control D again. So now I've got 7.2 degrees. And this is going to be perfect. Now the, the squares will not, or the rectangles will not be, you can see they're going to be rounded. And that's why I made two lines that take the smart fill tool, fill in that one, that one. And group these together, control G. But you will be before you, you know what? I'm going to delete that. Before you do anything, you'll be very happy you do this. Select everything and control G to group it together. That way you can get rid of it in a minute. Smart fill, smart fill. Control G to group it together. Let's open up the Docker for transform or transformation, depending on which one you have. And you can see I've already done it. Make the rotation of the center of the deal and just kind of double check it is. We need 50 of them. I've already got one, so there's a copy, so it's 49, 72 degrees. Now, look how fast that was. Now, remember when I said group this together? Hit delete and they're gone. Now, the only downside of this, these are perfect. With the exception... They're not rectangles anymore. Let's group it, ungroup it. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's make a duplicate, nudge it down. Let's left click, right click. We don't have to break them apart. Well, you know what? It'll be easier to break them apart. Go up to object, group, and ungroup it. And just delete this one <clears throat> or keep it. Now let's measure. I guarantee this, you know what? It's always easier, and I think it works better if you turn this into a hairline. 
because your nodes are more visible, smaller for me at least. Voila, that's one inch. But look at this one. So they're not rectangles anymore. We're three one hundreds off. But look how good that looks. Let me put them back. I mean, you can't get any better than that. Perfectly, perfectly spaced apart. They're all touching like the original two were. This is okay, but it's not perfect. Anyway, I hope that it helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.